All right, what's popping, y'all? What's popping? We here with another live salute to all the D riders, though. Dudes want to go live at 12 o'clock. You know, I go live right now. I see you, though, but you can't stop the greatness. You're corn. All right, salute to y'all, man. Salute to the haters. And the uh, uh, motivators, man. Um, make sure y'all tap in on the Patreon, man. The crime against humanity, man. If you got an attention span longer than five to ten or fifteen minutes, this video will be valuable to you. Okay, make sure you join the Patreon, all right, so you can get this content and also. We got Glorilla sold her soul to the devil for fame. Yeah, I'm on a roll right now. Yeah, I'm going to start getting at these newer artists. All right? We're going to start talking about these newer artists. So make sure you tap in on the Patreon. The link is in the description below. Um, yeah. Uh, let me shout some people out. Vinny Espy. What's popping? Anthony Sutton. Kyoko in the building. Nate Reacts. Your boy JC GS, what's going on? Mr. 3D himself. He said, What's good, Jay? Blessings, bruh. Salute. Ni Ni Naja Nia Johnny. What's poppin'? Liz Mendez. What's going on? Sleep Liz. Salute to everybody in Chile. Salute. Um Anthony Sutton. What's going on? Um Let me see. Atlantis is 82. Salute Jay in the chat. Yeah, man. Alright, so I got some stuff to talk about today, man. This ex-NFL player, man, Larry Johnson. Now, this is going to be a little lengthy. He's going to expose... I got some stuff. He's going to expose the NFL. Now, I'm a little disappointed in this. Because the NFL is something that I watch to occupy my time. Okay? It's, it's time occupying for me. But he's going to explain some stuff here. About how the NFL actually is. And then we're going to go into the history of it. Because he got ties with Jay-Z and all of this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know this. He's tied in with Jay-Z. As you can see here on the screen. He's throwing up the Rockefeller sign, right? It's the rock. Let's get to this clip though, y'all. The things I've been saying about the NFL. That is rigged. Talking about the Hunt family. Uh, knee deep in the assassination of JFK. That the NFL is getting. If I said this in a tweet like August 2020, all of a sudden they want to award me a special presentation. Just like how uh, Franco Harris did a special interview before he was killed. This is how they get you, you former football players. They get you to show up at interviews. They get you to show up at presentations. And if you don't understand the numerology of anything, this is how they can get you and trap you. I, I would have gone and, and wouldn't know. And they could have easily put me in a, 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 a predicament. I could have been at the bar. I could have been drinking. They could have came to my hotel. Any situation that would have fit my, my natural foolishness, which means either been drinking or been in a fight with a woman. That, was, that would be the only thing they would catch me with. And they would tell you, this is how I fell. Oh, um, he died from alcohol poison. Or he died fighting. That's, and people would have believed it. If I went to that show... And y'all would have heard that I got killed and you would have told you I died by alcohol poison or something like that. Most of you would have believed it because you know that's usually what I've been in trouble for. This is how they get you. It's kind of comical because once you understand numerology and Jamantra and they use the same numbers over and over and over again, it becomes pattern recognition. Okay, I've seen a lot of football players die and it'd be because of numerology. I've seen a lot of celebrities die and it'd be because of numerology. And it's always when they're by themselves, they're found dead in a hotel or, or some craziness that they, they attach it to. And no one can know what's the real truth because they really, they're really that slick with it if you ha don't have your eyes open. So it's funny to me that these people do not like me. They do not like me around when I was there, when I was in the world, they didn't want me around. So all of a sudden they're gonna give me a presentation after me saying football been rigged, after me saying their family did everything they did, all this stuff I've been talking that smoke, and they wanna invite me into an award show to give me a special award for something? Yeah, Larry Johnson was speaking that heat. Now he was close in with Jay-Z. 
All right, Jay Z has signed him to Rock Nation. I uh, want to say maybe about 2010. 2010, when Jay Z was doing all that sports stuff with LeBron and all of that, that's when he picked up with Larry Johnson. Now, Larry Johnson um, had basically left the industry and started to expose a lot of things. Now, we all know that sports is rigged. We already know this. Sports is not real. I told y'all this, that the betting, the, the sports betting in the NFL and the NBA is all in cahoots, right? But people still going to put their money on that. But when you think about this and you see people that were in the industry, um, you know, turn their life to God or just say, hey, you know what? This stuff is going on. Understand people in high positions use numerology they use numbers so that the average person can't pick up on it you get what i'm saying it's all coded this is why they use gematria and numerology and all of these numbers and it's murder by numbers is what they call it but they can't use they can't use regular regular code words or or sometimes they may send you a letter in the mail and it be all numbers and you gotta code that stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. It's crazy. But it, it is what it is, man. Um, C note, C note, do me a favor. Snipe Amber J, get her out of here. Do me a favor, get her, get her out of here. I'm I I meant to block you. I don't even know why you over here. And I think I know who that is. That's actually Rose's Blossom. She's a weirdo. She just comes over here and trolls. So snipe, snipe Amber J. Snipe, do me that, do me that favor. Um, thank you, man. Uh, C note. I, I greatly appreciate you. Now, um, I want to show y'all this, right? I, I want to show you guys this because interesting enough like i said he's down with jay he was down with jay-z and this um has been shadow banned okay this has been shadow banned but let me get this up here for y'all real quick all right mute the music and all of that now i'm gonna play this i'm gonna play this um real quick and he's gonna talk about his dealings with jay-z now i said this before but people are just gonna say hey jay you was you reaching we we don't reach nothing over here watch this it's comfortable what do you think jay-z stands for now well it's obviously they've been controlled by satanism i mean i'm not really scared to say that we all know luciferians freemasons and all occult knowledge that that was drugged up from Egypt have now surfaced itself in American society. And if you actually dig through the raps, like as I have before, it was all about partying and popping bottles. But when you listen to it again with a new ear, obviously they're not serving the same most high God that I am. And that's what makes us enemies that I stand for a completely different doctrine, a completely different nation and a completely different truth than he does. I don't have any materialism attached to my spirit or soul anymore. I don't have, uh, fornication attached to my spirit anymore i mean I'm, i just got engaged july so my life is completely different from how i was with women in the early 2000s and i think that is the the difference in itself of being evolved with rock aware has made me see something completely different and knowing who his allegiance is with is not the most high god and we all know you know satan rules this realm mm -hmm. yeah 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 um let me read some people in the comments man he said mk ultra escapee that's possible too i think a lot of people are waking up you know to the nonsense that's going on in this weird strange entertainment field that we call holly weird you know before the pandemic and i'll say this before the pandemic you know a lot of us were sleep including myself you know i knew about all of these things but i turned a blind eye to it and it seemed like once the world stopped everybody had the ability to see that these entertainers were just regular people 
that couldn't get haircuts, couldn't go to the beauty salon, couldn't go food shopping. They couldn't dye their beards. That some of them was 50 years old with gray beards. They didn't have no barbers. They was looking crazy out here. And we idolized these people for years. When in reality, they're just regular people. And it showed. And that some of them were coming on Instagram begging. Some of them turned their life to God. Some of them exposed the industry. Some of them got tired and said, I'm out of work. I need help. Help me. But when I look at this stuff, right, I see that all of these people are playing a game. They have a job to do. And unfortunately, you're going to have new and upcoming rappers, actors, athletes that will know this stuff and they'll just turn a blind eye to it because their parents are making them do it or they've had a rough upbringing. They don't want to figure anything out on their own but during that time that two year span i want to say a lot of people came in into awareness of understanding that we're all just human beings and there's only one creator of all of this and some people still just want to turn their head and say us oh, rap rap you know gossip gossip yeah None of that stuff even matters. These people don't matter. They're just, they're just puppets. You know, they're pawns. They're doing a job. You know, and they have to all report to these high elite bankers. You know, it's not the devil that they, they, they got to go and report to. It's these high elite bankers that these celebrities have to kiss the feet of. And the bankers go and worship the serpent. All right. The bankers, they go and worship the Pope and shake hands with the Pope. And then the Pope goes and kisses the serpent's feet and all of this stuff. And you see in the black Messiah come out of a box, but that's really the devil. Some people, oh, the, the Pope kissing Jesus. No, that's actually the devil, son. 